Hi everyone, my name is John, and in this video, we're going to learn how to embed PDFs within Shopify pages and Shopify products. So this is what the end result is going to look like. We're going to have a really nice PDF embedded directly within the product itself, and also within a page. The way we're going to do this is using a free method through Google Docs, and specifically Google Drive. We're going to embed a Google Drive link within Shopify, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is log in to your Shopify store, and I've already done so, and then go into your product section under all products. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload the PDF and then embed it within a product page. So I'm going to add a product, but if you already have an existing product, you can use that one too. I'm going to give my product a title, and then I'm going to look under the description and then change this to show HTML. So now I'm in the HTML section. The next thing that I have to do is go into Google Drive. If you don't have a Google Drive account, you'll have to create a free Google account, and you can do that using a link that I will include in the description below. Once you've signed in to your Google account and you're in Google Drive, you can click on new and upload the file, or you can just drag and drop the PDF that you want to upload into the My Drive section right here. Once you've uploaded your PDF, it's going to be visible within the file section of My Drive. Double click on the PDF to open it, and then select the three dots in the upper right hand corner and click on the button that says open in a new window. So now what you'll have the option to do is if you, don't, if you click on the three dots once again, you'll have this option to embed the item. So click on this, and then you'll have this code right here. So we wanna copy this code. So I'm going to right click, command copy. Once you've copied that code, click on your Shopify store once again, and make sure that you are in the HTML mode. So you don't wanna see all of these different options. You wanna see the show HTML blank page right here and then paste the code that you copied from Google Docs earlier. Now there's something wrong here, and that is that we're not able to see the PDF once we've pasted it within this box, but that's okay. If we go back to the PDF within Google Drive, click on OK, and then again use the three dots in the upper right hand corner to uh, share this document. So what we wanna do is you want to change the Git link so change to anybody with the link is able to view the document. Now, if we click on done, we can go back to our example store and then we can click on preview. And we'll be able to see the PDF as it's embedded within our Shopify product. Now let's say that we wanted to go and embed this PDF within an actual page. If we go back to Shopify settings, and then we go into online store, we have the ability to click on pages, and we can add a page or add it to an existing page. So I'm going to create a new page and name it whatever. Same as before, we can go into the show HTML option we can paste the code that we copied earlier. And if we need to go and get this code again, we just need to go back into Google Drive. Again, click on the three dots, click on embed item and copy this code once again. We're gonna paste that code into the content of our page and then click on save. And now we have the nice preview within the editor we can also view this page on our Shopify store itself. with all of the nice options here to zoom in or open it within Google Drive itself. I hope this helped. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And remember, if you don't see the three options within Google Drive, if you only see the three options without the embed item button, make sure that you've opened the PDF in a new window. So in order to do that, Go back to Google Drive, double click on the PDF to open it, and then use the three little dots here to open in new window. Once you do that, 
the three little dots will have an updated option to embed the item. I hope this helped, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks, and have a nice day.